If you are someone who works extensively with community animals and you wish to talk to them to understand them better and also request a few changes from them, then this video will help you. Hi, my name is Akshaya Kaure. I'm a nature and animal communicator, which means I can speak to plants, animals and other species and have two-way conversations with them. With these conversations, I help humans and animals create better relationships with each other. I recently spoke to a community dog whose human reached out to me because there were issues being created by the neighbors since the dog was frequently coming over and sitting in front of our house. Now our neighbors were not very happy with this and they really didn't want the dog to be in, within the premises of their apartment building. When I spoke to the dog, I explained the situation to him and requested him to help the human with this situation and also avoid coming to the building premises ever so often. The human had also mentioned that there is a time where he can come for a few hours etc which actually confused the dog even more. So he said that while he is willing to cooperate he will definitely need help from the human to break this habit. Now remember just like us humans animals may be aware of a certain things at an energetic level. However, to put it into practice at a physical level, they need help and this is what the animal was asking for. The human said that there is a space where he can sit which is safe and the animal was more than happy to go there and sit. However, the animal requested the human to help her to put him into the practice of going there with the help of some treats and the human spending time with the animal in that space so that he can start associating with that space as a safe space for him and it also helps him break the habit of coming to the apartment complex and outside our house as frequently. He also straight up denied to following times to come to the house because he said that it will cause more confusion. Instead, it would be better if she helps him break the habit entirely so that he can also remain safe, the neighbors are also happy and she can also be stress free about the same. I conveyed all the messages to the human and the human was fairly happy to work with the animal on the suggestions that the animal had shared. Please note that as communicators, we do not trespass into the territories of other professionals. So if your animal is facing a behavioral issue or a health issue, it is important to consult with appropriate professionals such as behaviorists or doctors. Even in this case, there is a need for understanding the behavior of the animal to help the animal change the behavior. However, through the communication, the human was able to attain insights into what the animal feels about the perception and what aspect of the change could be done with the help of the animal. So the and of the human. So the human understood from the animal what she could do to help change this issue from the animal itself and she understood how she could help the animal be safe and break the habit of coming to her home frequently. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. If you did or if you have had any such experiences in the past, do mention them in the comment section below. Until the next video, bye bye.